you want while I'm in town. Hey, you can post these couple of letters for me. You're sure the police aren't taking any further action, huh? Yeah. They'd be lucky. You know as well as I do it wasn't their fault. They're still lucky. Well, what do you do about a thing like that? Smashing a place up just for the hell of it doesn't seem to be an answer. I don't know. I reckon I could cure it. How? Well, behind the main stand of every football club, there'd be this place. It would have 12-foot-high fences with one entrance. We'll call it the bullpen. Oh, yes. So when the headbangers arrive, we just chuck them straight in there for the duration of the game. Mind you, they won't be able to see the pitch, but then that won't matter because it's not the game they came to see anyway. It's a punch-up. So we just let them go on with it. While the rest of us get on with what we used to do, which is watch the game in peace and safety. Regular little Genghis Khan, aren't you? There are no football hooligans in Russia, my love. Oh, but they have those, do they? Your bullpens? No, no, they have a far better place. It's called Siberia. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Afternoon. Come in. Sit down. How are you? Fine. Cup of coffee? Oh, I'll twist my arm. So, what can we do for you? Uh, there was a near fatal accident near the ground on Saturday, just before kickoff. Well, a road accident? No, a little girl fell in the canal, a, a non-swimmer. Well, she nearly drowned. Would have if some kid hadn't come along and gone in after her. Yeah, I remember reading about that. Uh, what's that got to do with us? Well, we'd like to get in touch with the kid. The uh, chief would like to put him up for an award. So why don't you? Because we don't know who he is. You see, after we made sure the little girl was in good hands, he took off like a rocket. Never left the name or an address. How can we help you? Well, the only clue we've got is this. Well, the new ones. They've only just gone on sale. Right. And he must have been wearing it at the time. Probably on his way to the match, in fact. Uh, but he took off in such a hurry, he left it behind him on the bank. Oh, see. Now, if he was a fan of yours, that probably means he attends most of your home matches. So, uh, what we thought was this. If you could make an announcement at the next couple of home games, saying a scarf had been handed in and could be collected from the office, then we could find out who it is. All right. Leave right. it with me. Right. Anything else we can do for you? Cup of coffee? Four, five, six, three. Is Jenny there? The French isn't home from school yet. Who's speaking? Just tell her Beryl called. Club tonight, Lim. Sorry, you know I can't. You're afraid don't need to know. He'd find out. Oh, would he? He always does. Jennifer, your tea's ready. Come in at once, please. I have to go. I'll yeah. see you tonight. I told you I can't come. Jennifer! All right, I'm coming. Bye. We'll see ya. I told you already, keep away from that boy. Well, I can't just ignore him. What's wrong with him? I should have thought that was perfectly obvious just by looking at him. Well, lots of boys wear earrings these days. Oh, you're so fashioned, Dad. Uh, in your bedroom, if you don't mind, Jennifer. Your friend Beryl rang. Beryl? Yes, a very mannered young lady. Oh, yeah, right. Dad? Yes? Can I go down club tonight? You already know the answer to that question, Jennifer. Can't I? You know why. It's not fair. And don't raise your voice to me, young lady. I'm dead bored, I am. Me too. Yes, yeah, so go back to the club. What's stopping you? 
Come on, Jerry. No, I mean it. What's stopping you? Just been stupid, that's all. Stupid? Yeah, look. You broke your back to get that place started. You two were even the ones who found the pool table. And now you're sitting here with nothing to do while they get the benefit from it. Yeah, that is stupid. Doing a few, are we? I told you I'm finished with that place, all right. But that don't mean you two shouldn't go. Like, I mean, you're dying to go, aren't you? Well, admit it. Yes, yeah, so go. Come with us. Yeah, no thanks. See you later. Oh, what do you think? I could do with a game of pool. Come in. Hey. Hi. Hi. Sit Jean said you wanted to see me. Yeah. Is everything all right? Of course, yeah. Quite a bit of a mess on Saturday, wasn't it? Oh, not really. Look worse than it was, actually. Well, oh, good. Look. These went on sale on Saturday for the first time, yeah? Yeah. You sell many? Oh, a couple. You don't happen to remember who to, do you? Mm, a couple of girls. Oh, there's one other. Yeah? Jean's had one on Friday night in the club. To Jerry. Our Jerry? Yeah. Let's say. Um, what time will we be in tonight? No, I don't think he will. Why? Well, he's down here most nights, isn't he? Not anymore. Why not? That's a long story. I am in no hurry. Well, it was all because of Saturday. What about Saturday? Oh, it was his turn to look after the shop. You see, we take it in turns, and every home match, there has to be a boy and girl on shop duty. Right. Well, he never turned up. And not until the match was nearly over. And some of us felt that if he'd been there, instead of there being us two girls there, the Yobs would never have started the trouble. Did he say why he didn't turn up? Did he offer any explanation? Well, I didn't really give him a chance to. I was so mad with him, I stormed out. He hasn't been back since. Hasn't he? Well, once, to say he's finished with the club. See. Jennifer. Yes, Dad? Where are you off tonight? Oh, just ran to Mary White's to check some homework with her. Ah, oh, don't be late. There's a good girl. No, Dad. Bye. Bye. Hello? Oh, hi, Beryl. Hi. Look, I'll talk to you about it after school tomorrow, all right? Yeah, all right. Bye. Hi. Hi. You want a game of doubles? Yes, oh, great. Hi. Hi, Jane. You weren't allowed down here anymore. It's not hard. You better watch it. It's supposed to be catching with Wurzel. Where's the bin in yet? Oh, he's been and gone. He's gone to pitch in town. I oh, see. Well, is there anything I can do? No, I just want to ask fast about something, that's all. Go for this, please, Sheila. Listen, I'll see you, all right? Yeah, bye. See you, then. See you. See you, then. Do you not come in, then? I did ask him. You had another telephone call whilst you were out? Just a few minutes ago, in fact. Oh, not Beryl. No. Mary White. She wanted you going over this evening. You've been to that club, haven't you? Haven't you? Yes. I see. I only put round for a minute. I wanted you to see somebody. That was all. That boy, was that who you're looking for? Yes. Thank you, Jennifer. I just went to ask him something. That was all. Of course you did. Well, it's not some kind of monster, you know. You can go to your room now, Jennifer. Oh, why won't you ever listen to me? I'm not a baby anymore. I'm 13 years old. But whenever I try to explain anything to you, all you say is go to your room. I'll tell you this, my girl. I am certainly not going to sit here to listen to your cheek. See, you won't listen. Do as you're told. Jerry. Morning. Morning. How are you? Fine. 
Working for a living, are we? Not from a dead out. Listen, hang on a minute. I've got something that belongs to you, I think. Yours? Well, you did lose one, didn't you? Yeah. Saturday, down by the canal bank, where that kid was pulled out of the river by a person of persons unknown. Where did you get it? Police brought it around. They've been trying to trace the owner. They reckon he might be in line for a medal. Cold, was it? In the water. Freezing. Why the hell do you go running off like that without telling anybody who you are? I was soaked to the skin. And anyway, I was late. Late for what? I was supposed to be on duty at a souvenir shop. And I knew if I didn't turn up, they think I did it on purpose. Because I was sore about having to miss the match. Only when I got home and the mum saw the state I was in, well... She won't let me back out again until I got bath. Uh, I, got I know the rest. The well, why don't you tell Sheila and the others? I tried to. But I'd already made up their mind. I'd let them down. Do you want me to explain it for you? No, I'll finish with them. If that's all they think of me, they can keep their rotten club. Hi. Oh, hi. Well, are you or aren't you? not scared, are you? Of course not. Scared of what your dad'll say? Is that it? It is, isn't it? No, I don't care what he says. Good. So? Will it take long? Not long. All right. You got the money? Sixty, I said. I couldn't get any more. You can owe it to me. It'll hurt, of course. I'm not bothered. Right, come on. Where are we going? Our place. My mum's at work till five. What's your game, eh? Nothing. Well, clear up before I have the police on you. So see Jilly for a minute. Well, she doesn't want to see you, so clear off. Go on, clear off. Hello, Whitfield Comprehensive. Could I speak to the headmaster, please? Sorry, all the teachers have gone home. I'm just one of the cleaners. All right, thanks. Don't you think you should? No. Why not? Because he said he didn't want me to. He's going to be the only one who knows I agree with you, love. It's things like that they've got to find out for themselves, right? I'm sorry, it's Toby. Sit down. Thank you. One of the kids is missing. Yeah, from this uh, junior supporters club of yours. She, uh, she left school at four o'clock as usual and then uh, never arrived home. Oh, Lord. Which girl is it? Uh, Jennifer Lee. Jenny? Oh, God, her parents must be going out of their minds. Parent, actually. Her mother's dead. What can we do? Well, it occurred to me that if she'd been meaning to take off, she might have discussed it with one of the other kids. So, what I was wondering was, is there any one kid in particular who's a special pal of hers? There is one, actually. Yeah? Someone on your own doorstep, really. His father's one of your detective inspectors. Now, this is important. I want you to answer me quite truthfully, Willie. No messing about on this one. Have you had anything to do with this? No, Dad. Sure? Of course. Had she ever talked to you about running away? No. But he once surprised me with that father of hers. What do you mean? It gives her a dog's life. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't go there. Don't bother with that knock down the club there, Scruffs. He wouldn't even let her have her ears pissed. He's stupid, that man. All right, that's enough of that now, Willie. At the moment, the man's worried to death in case something's happened to his child. One more question, and then you can get back to bed. If she has run away, have you any idea at all where she might have run to? 
No, Dad. Unless the God's on his truth. Hi. I think it's really brave what you did. Who told you? Mac. He said he won't say anything. It wasn't Mac. It was Elaine. Why didn't you tell me? You didn't give me a chance. I'm sorry. Jenny's still missing. It's been three days. I know. Come back to the club, Jerry. Everyone wants you to. No, thanks. Listen, I've got to go now. I'll be late for school, all right? you not to tell anybody. I didn't. Well, you told Mrs. Murphy because she told Sheila. So that's her bad son. Well, I asked you not to. Look, do yourself a favor. Go back to your mates. You're just cutting your nose off to spite your face. That's my business. Me. You look like something out of an horror film. Get lost, will ya? I thought that was you, not me. You've been hiding here all the time? Just at nights when everybody's gone. I go up first thing to get food. Well, what about during the day? Walking, around the marketplace like that. Well, what have you been living on? Fish and chips, Chinese, that sort of stuff. Had some money with me. And now it's gone, right? So it can't go on, can it? Oh, I'll manage. Oh, don't be daft. Look, your old man's worried sick about you. Oh, him? He is. He even went on telly last night asking you to come home. Well, why don't you? I don't. Oh, what are you on about, you don't? I don't, I tell Look, you. Look, he'll just be glad to see you, all right? No, he won't. He'll kill me. That's stupid. You don't understand. What's the matter? It's my ears. Well, let's have a look. Don't touch them. I won't hurt. Just let me look. <gasps> Is the other one like that as well? Worse. Well, what have you done to him? Had him pierced. Pierced? Girl at school done him with a darning needle. They've gone septic. I'll get Max. No. Don't be stupid. But Elaine. Don't run off. L double E, right? Yeah, that's right. Lee, 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 Lee. 37, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I've done what I can, but they've gone septic. I think we ought to get to the hospital. Where's your father work? He's retired. So he should be at home, right? Yeah. All right, young lady, I shall drop you two off at the hospital and then go back and leave your father a message. Look, uh, do me a favour, will you? Phone up the police and tell them that we've found her, OK? All right.
Mr. Lee. Yes. Can I come in? Yes. Uh, my name's McMurphy. I'm the manager down at United. I was just about to leave you a note. We found that little girl of yours. Is she all right? She's fine. Well, where is she? She's down at the hospital. The hospital? I thought she was all right. She's all right. Look, um, I'll take you down in the car and I'll explain there. All right? Right. Excuse me, father, doctor. Right, let him come in. I'll see you later. Jennifer. Hi, Dad. Oh, come on. No need for that. That's it. Thank you, Doc. Now, come along. I'll give you a prescription, and you can take it down to the pharmacy. Anybody should be apologizing, it should be me, not you. You? Yeah, well, if I'd let you have the job done properly in the first place, this would never have happened. But you didn't want me to have the job done. You thought it was wrong. Yeah. Well, maybe my age was showing. Come on, Dad, I was dead wrong, and you know it. Perhaps, perhaps we both were in our own different ways. See, Jennifer, when your mother died and, well, when something like that happens and you, you lose someone who is so important to you, you're trying to build a protective wall around the ones you have left. And I was just too overprotected, that's all. Forgive me. Promise me one thing. If ever anything like this should happen again between us, and Lord knows it might, I promise you won't run away. Please. I promise. Let's go. Dad? I just want to know, is Jenna right? Yes. She's in the living room. A visitor for you, Jennifer. Hi, Jen. Hi. Well, don't just stand there, Jennifer. Put the kettle on and make your friend a cup of tea. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, thanks. You stupid mitt. I don't think you would have done stupid. But you wanted to buy some flesh earrings now. Mm -hmm. What we? Two sugars in one, girl. Get a room on. Hiya. Hi. Need any help? No, thanks. Thanks for helping Jenny. She all right? Yeah. Good. So, see you down the club, eh? Give you a fish at the old pool. We'll see, eh? No more. 